More than all, Nick, Adam, on his knees already, clipping cables. We are doing two fusible today. I'll run you inside. So it's in the ISR we did a long time ago for a house sale. Oh, sorry, mate, you tripped up. One board, two board, three board. That's a shower board. This is coming out. These are all coming out. We're going to be putting a fuse box board, which we've got here. I think that's a 14 way up top, which then will supply the garage board. I know what you're thinking, they're very close together. You don't really need two boards, we could extend the circuits, but there's potential that this board, good good potential that this board is getting moved inside the house at some point, because some redecorations going on the inside, some movement of walls or whatever, or rooms. This could be moved to the other side of the house at some point. But we're gonna upgrade it, and if that ever happened, we would reuse the same board, put an adaptable box on here, extend the circuits. Most of the circuits go into the house anyway. We could always pull back up. Uh, and move the board over but hence for now you'll have two boards next to each other uh, we'll have a 32 amp mcb feeding this board so we've not got discrimination between discrimination selectivity which one is it Adam? selectivity it is aha sorry got uni lights set up there there power bank in case we go flat we've got more uni lights so I'm going to disconnect all this we've done an EICR we know exactly what's what there's only two circuits going on the far board it's just lights and sockets in the garage. We've got shower down here, we've got cooker, we've got kitchen sockets, we've got lounge sockets, we've got lights, and one of these is the supply across. I think if this isn't a six mil, we're gonna do a new six mil supply from this board across to that one. I say 32 amp MCB, uh, RCBOs for the rest of it. We've got all our stuff down here. We've got blanks, we've got fuse box stuff. All the stuff I've got is from Expert Electrical. Use the code Bundy10 for all your needs for 10% off all this stuff. Um, and if you do use it, Drop me a tag on Instagram and uh, show me your order, tag us in it, tag expert in it, and we can give it a share. Uh, sorry, just, mate, you know you're waiting. clipping that. I know, sorry, as usual. Uh, but we're going to isolate the supply, we'll get these boards off, see what's, what, what play we've got in it. I'm going to try and drill behind here um, to try and feed the cables down so they're overlapping, but we're going to have to see what slack we've got, because ideally we'd like to bring the board a little bit lower. Uh, but then if it is getting moved, it doesn't really matter. So uh, let's get the fronts off and we'll crack on. So disconnected the tails, the shower board's now off. And I just would like to take a minute to appreciate how delicious this is. Obviously we've already had this off once when we did the ICR. I think that one's probably the same. Um, but it just shows back and way. See, oh God, that is bright. Back when these were fitted, people took the time and the effort to do it nice and neat. There's length on them, there's nice bends on them. People have adapted it at some point with an extra 20 amp, but it's a nice job. I did this on the weekend. Did you? Yeah, yeah that's why it's nice. Well, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, it's just appreciation for it that we try and do it as ni neat, nice and neat as we can. So hopefully in another 40 years, another YouTuber turns up and goes, oh, I need to change this fuse board. Oh, Nick Bundy fitted it, let's have a look inside. And he says the same thing, delicious. Uh, but yeah, we'll pull this one off. Everything's disconnected. I want to see what we can do about bringing the cables either behind this, over the top. I've just brought some trunking in to see if we could notch out the trunk in here, but it's the same thickness. I was hoping like you would have like, I don't know, a couple of centimeters on top of the lid where we can just cut the bottom of the trunk in around and like overlap it, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, we'll get this off. Adam's, we've just set the RCBOs up, everything. What I am gonna do, so a KMF switch, so the younger lads that don't want KMF switch, it's the main isolation switch with the fuse in it. Uh, normally if you run uh, tails, main tails more than three meters, you need to fuse it down to a 60 amp because of the length. If it's within the fabric of the building, the tails, you need to RCD protect it. But here we won't be, if we're moving the board, it's gonna be literally through the loft space. So it's not, technically it's not within the fabric of the building. It's not drilled through a wall or hidden with plaster work, it's visible. But um, I'm gonna stick a KMF switch in below in the, in the box here. We'll feed from the Henley blocks into the main, uh, into the KMF switch and then up. Uh, we've got it with us, we might as well add it. If the boards are gonna get moved, <coughs> excuse me, I'll stick a 100 amp fuse in it for now, uh, or a 60, whatever it comes with, or an 80, it normally comes with an 80, and then that's sort of ready and set for if we need to move the board, we can. So uh, I'll pull this off. There's not much filming to do at the moment, it's just through stages, but um, yeah, I'm just interested to see what we can do here. Right, so this is the other board. So as you can see, Delicious. this one's not as good. So definitely didn't do this one on the weekend. Well, maybe reckon. maybe if you had a few beers the night before, mate. Yeah, potentially. No one knows about your antics, do they? Hey. Antics. What's that? Yeah, when you've been turning up to work, uh, hungover, 
Oh yeah. Been yeah. out partying with your mates. Definitely. Ibiza. Yeah. Who flies to Ibiza for one night and comes back? <laughs> do you normally do that? Just put these in. With a screwdriver. No, no, but like, these, do they just put raw plugs or not? Yeah. Uh, but but these off? ones were. The raw plug. What? Unless it's in water. No, I, I, I'm gonna. I've seen one of them little old hand drill things. Right, so what this board is gonna be roughly 35, 40 years old. Yeah. So to the guys in the comments that are of that generation, did you have power tools? Was it all corded back then, or was it an old? Because they used to have literally hand drills where you would just turn it. Whether or not that was that, please let me know because I'd be quite interested to know as well, if I'm honest. Uh, Adams. Given up. I'm giving up lie. already. He's that little bit too short. I told him to stand on something, but he's ignoring me. Uh, here's mine. We've got a couple going across the top. And we've got a few cables going straight through the wall. We've got our tails here, which are easy to pull through the cavity. Uh, so I'm just going to straighten all this off now and uh, see what wiggle room we've got, and then tackle this beam while Adam struggles just trying to get one flathead out. Two. 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 The one won't budge, but this one. Also, Unilite, delicious as usual. Blindery. What's the code, Ad? Uh, Bundy 35? No! Oh. Bundy 25. God, don't tell everyone that. I'll be using that code. Bundy 25 at Unilite. I've got the power bank plugged in because I never charged this one last night. But uh, yeah, jobs are good. I'll be excited. Probably the same as mine, I Also, I keep a little, I'm keeping all the spare boards for no reason whatsoever. I've got, I think I've got about. 642,000 old fuse wars now at the unit. So if you want one, ask Adam and he might give you one. Look at him. Go on, Mr. Muscles. This is so much effort. I might try and get a flathead bit out of the van and put it in a drill. No. That's lazy. Come on. How have I done all this and you've done that? Oh, no, that's right. You this were, you were sorting all the stuff out. I'm cooking <laughs> Just to clarify, Nick is now struggling lots and lots. No, no, I'm not tackled it yet. I'm just going to take this out. Oh, there we go. Just to make life so a little bit easier. So I've got one roll, uh, not roll plug out, one flathead screw out. And then the other one I physically can't do. And neither can Nick. No, I can. I, I was just. Getting I'm a bit more wiggle room, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to get all this stuff out of the way. All these spiders. Oh, yes. Delicious. I think you might get the uh, convincer on that. What's it called? What do you call it? Persuasion stick. Yeah, persuasion. So, also, top tip this is probably not going to work now, but any flathead screws, so you see this one here. My granddad was a carpenter and he always used to say to me, never just try straight away just to turn it and get it on use. He said, wiggle it backwards and forwards. L do that, tighten it up and tighten it, tighten it up to the point where it's loosened itself up enough that you should be able to, should be able to help you out. Probably not going to work now, but we'll give it a go. Absolutely worked. gutted I did that. See so me just flying. I'm not gonna, I have to sit down for a minute because you know, I held my breath while I was doing it. Oh. Oh, delicious. Ow. There you go, mate. That's how it's done. Wiggle, wiggle. We've just had a bit of a chit chat about it. You got a lot of sticky tar which I can only presume has fell down from when they redid the roof. It's come down like a hole in the ceiling. The old board here was run off a 2.5, so we're gonna upgrade that to six mil. We're also gonna run its own 10 mil earth in as well. That's so sweet. it's gonna be on the safe side. This six mil here, potentially four mil, runs down, runs down to this socket. I'm just gonna rip all this out. This isn't part of the job, but we're just gonna do it anyway, make things a bit better. Better, sorry mom. Better. And this light feed with a bit of tar on. I'm just going to redo the feed to the JB. Oh. And then there's an extension lead here that goes to this socket for the door. So I'm just going to redo this, have it in and an out, and then we'll get rid of the flex and just put reattach that socket so it's part of the circuit. Oh, you're no. struggling again with flex. Mate, there's two more. Oh, Why look, I'm going to do it on camera. Watch this. I've tried the wiggle trick. You tried the wiggle trick? Right there. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Loosen it up a bit. You what, ready? from tapping the plastic? Yeah, tapping the plastic. Go on then. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, no. Ready, your flat's better. Let me have a go. Oh, is it? Yeah, trust me. You ready? Go on. You ready? I was going to try and do it one handed then, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it two handed. 
Come on, use the strength. It's going. I don't know. No, it's just going to round it off. I was going to get the drill in a minute. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I will. I'm going to hold the camera in one hand. Hang on. <laughs> no, just. <laughs> you missed the screw up. No, no, no. Yeah, you not. have. You've. It's always like that. Nah, bro. We could do with a. I guess screwdriver to be honest yeah no I don't I, that we'll, we'll have to delete this footage I can't have known people I can't do that to <sighs> start setting the boards up I haven't got loads of wiggle room to be honest with the cable so mine's probably going to stay roughly where it is Adam is going to drop his down a little bit because this is going to stay in here if this board gets moved then it doesn't really matter ideally looks wise you'd like to keep the same height we want to make it a little bit more accessible. He's going to drop it down. We've got a six-way board. He's just going to take out the SPD because we've already got one in this board. Uh, remove all the stuff. Remove the uh, tails clamp as well because that's not needed because it's a six mil going in. Uh, we're both going to do. I'm doing rear entry. Excuse me. In my board or equally top entry because we've got cables coming from multiple angles. I'm just going to drop it down. Get a bit of four by two trunk in here. Knock out the top. Uh, fire grommet at the top and then he'll be able to literally go straight in straight out oh yeah dude top and uh, sure he should be done quite quickly there's only three cables for him to do I'm going to run the new 6mm I'll patches though aren't I yeah we're going to I didn't have any patches on the van some malleable ones so the local wholesale is just dropping some stuff off Kev is it's just so we can redo a few sockets here make a bit of a cleaner job get rid of this tar covered cable hanging out which we've both got all over our fingers delicious and uh, I'm going to keep these in place for the time being because I'm just going to use them as fishes to pull up my new tails just in case I can't access it and then we've got to run a 10 mil to the gas and the water this is actually an empty cupboard I presume they put this in originally for the gas and it's just never been used uh, so the gas is on the far side of the house and it's got no bonding in whatsoever when we did the ICR and I think the water's got a very very small cable, I can't quite remember. So we're gonna fish uh, feed it through the cavity, get it up to the loft, and then that's got any M2 trunk in? No, not in the van. No. No. I was thinking maybe just from that socket. Just put a link. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, same size as a socket. It is a thing. No. That's how far we are. It's been a while. Adam's enjoying himself. He's got his trunk in on, he's got his all round band in there. Obviously different heights we've got. I've put a bit of trunking in the top, drilled the joist, I've supported the beam on the wall with some big three and a half inch screws either side. Uh, it's actually being supported by these noggins as well. So I'm gonna start dressing the board in, so is Adam, and then we're gonna have a faff around with the, we've, we've left the hard stuff till last as usual. We should've got the water done first. <laughs> right, so trunking's on the wall. Customer wanted the socket there just replacing the old one that was there so I'm just put a radial in for that um, so I'll come that's my in from the board which goes down to here and then my out is going to go up through there go put along there and power this which will power the what's that for garage door okay. yeah yeah, yeah garage door but it looks like an old yeah garage door um, so yeah that's going to power that but yeah I'll just put it here alright thank you Love you, bye. There's the board on. It's going round with the torque. I'm going to go around and do the top in a bit once we've tested. Do I just put my lid off? Excuse me? <laughs> KMF switch is on. New tails are down. Into the Henley blocks. I'm happy with that. I'm going to stick a few tacks across here. Tacks, cable clips. I've not actually looked at yours face on yet. Nice. nice. Uh, sock it on. Like that. We have all worn band. Delicious cable. Through. Loads of blanks. Uh, yeah, nice. Obviously, having them this close together is not necessary in this situation. But this is going to allow it currently, yeah. But obviously, if this gets moved, then it's going to be uh, a lot better. And also we're going to do a commando, 32 amp commando socket for a welder at some point. I've got a couple of spare ways here. 
a couple of spare ways there for a few more sockets. I wouldn't really want to take a commando socket off of that because it's already six mil supply. Yeah, yeah. But there's potential to do it all here. KMF switch in if this is getting moved. I've left an 80 amp fuse in here. There is a 100 amp fuse there. But if we're going to be moving it any further, we're going to be wanting to change it to a 60, I mean 63, 60 amp fuse. Now comes the fun part. I'm not going to turn anything on. And uh, we're going to go and find the gas in the water. I'm just going to go up in the loft and we will get a bit of footage. <laughs> Pulling some cable. You look forward to this? No. Yes, you are. Tell everyone you're looking forward to this, Adam. I'm not looking forward to this. Uh, right. No secret Santa for you. I've just gone and had a look in the loft. Uh, customers are in there, there's dog in there, so I'm not going to be filming anything inside. From here, let me just get this light. Oh, well, you can see there's a brick missing straight there. We're going to rod straight up, and there's a felt up in the t You can't quite see it with the camera, but you can see the felt for the roof, and that's where all the cables go up. We're going to rod from here with the cable drum here. Adam's going to go up in the loft. <laughs> because the loft's tiny. Um, he's going to pull it across. We're going to do the one cable over because the gas in the water came through in the same boxing. It's like a downstairs, it's a downstairs boiler because it's a bungalow. It was a floor run boiler over on the far side of the house with the water and the gases, both the main stopcocks, uh, come through. So we're going to do a continuous loop, not cut the cable. Two apprentices out there, people new in the trade, obviously you would normally run one for the gas, one for the water. But if you do a continuous loop and you don't cut the cable, so we will strip off the insulation, double it round on the earth tag, earth clamp, stick it on the water, and then to carry on to the gas, that's within the regulations that we can do. So it saves us running two cables over to the same thing, literally to the same location. So rod on, I'm going to tape it on. Oh, actually, no, we'll use the new finger puller thing. It's at the bottom of the... I only use this once either. Normally, we just tape everything up. Where's the... Here. No, 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 it's in the tube. You're in the bottom of that? Yeah, it's empty the tube outside. Tip on the floor. <coughs> yeah, got it. Got it. Let's pull it out. So the other week, I ended up doing some downlights by myself because you were on holiday. You went to London, didn't you? Somewhere, I can't remember. No, Wales. Yeah. In Wales. I use this. So it's like a Chinese finger trap. <laughs> you were so close to whipping me in the in the testicles. Yeah, it's I got whipped by this. Good. Go on that. Oh, uh, yeah, go on then. Get your finger out. Ah! Good. There's a the blame, there's a the claim. Right, feed it on, feed it on, feed it on. Right, and then if I pull it. <laughs> we need that to was go. trash. Yeah, then. Don't we touch you, do it. I never use this, by the way. I use it with one mil twin, so. I don't think it's going to work. Pinch this that, is 16 mil. Or pinch that, we? and then pull, pull the end, other end of it. That's it, pull. What? Yeah, so that's it. And then that should then have pulled tight. No, I think it would. Right, we're not going to use that. We're going to put some tape on it yeah. and we're going to pull it up through the ceiling void. I think it works for twins and stuff. Or it gives not. a bit wider. Maybe it's not on the round cables. Well, you're getting in the bin. It seems to be. Uh, it's caught on something, so luckily Adam volunteered. He volunteered his tribute to go to the loft because I might back start to hurt again for some reason whatsoever, I don't know, maybe it's just carrying him normally at work on a normal day. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I can hear you. Oh. Sorry? Uh. So I thought I'd just uh, let you guys know about today's sponsor, which is Tradeify. Tradeify is my uh, job management app I use for scheduling booking in, quoting, invoicing, among various other things to do day-to-day -day stuff with my work. Um, Adam's been enjoying it recently, telling me which jobs we're going to, where's next, next couple of days, because he keeps me going, what are we doing tomorrow? I don't know, mate, he just gets the iPad, checks himself. Um, but no, it's a very cool, useful software to have, and I know you guys know I like to use it and go on about it all the time, but it is awesome. And also, they've got their van games going on at the moment. Oh, it might have ended by then, but um, yeah, it's great. Uh, the software itself is fantastic, it's updated all the time, new tips and tricks, there's always someone on the phone if you need any help with it, uh, and there's loads of different YouTube videos on it now from themselves, from Tradeify's own YouTube, or some other guys that started doing it as well, so uh, go and check it out, click the links below, save yourself some money and some time, and go paperless. I actually got Brian thanks a lot to you, didn't I?
That was silly. I just turned that bulb on over there and said, Adam, careful your eyes. It's super bright. We're 99% done. I want to come back at next week because the bonding I've just clipped in, I just can't get it quite square and put in some trunking, uh, get it a bit neater. I'm not quite happy with the finish. So like we're trying to say, you, you people pay a lot of money for us. We, if I don't think it looks good, it's, you know, I don't want people to be paying me for the job. So happy with how it's turned out. Adam's done a banging job over there, even though you only had two circuits to put in and we did it at the same time. It's fine. I think it's very even. Did you? Yeah. Did you? I sat on my phone for ages, so. Yeah, it's already there for future. A few more things to do. We're going to do the RCD test now and uh, we'll be back next week just to sort that little last thing out. But uh, so it's been a jump two video. Like I say, I can't show a whole video. I had to change this because it's one of them. I know a few people have said differently, but. I will be putting the paid fuse board video on at some point. It won't be a lot of money. It's just one of them for my own uh, my own sanity. I don't want people putting videos out there that potentially could hurt themselves if they don't do it properly. So, so yeah. Anyway, uh, make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, catch up with Chris CJR. Delicious. Jordan probably be a while off yet. And I have said I, I think I edited it out of a video ages ago. But when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to get Aaron, which is one of my best mates, who is a tattoo artist. I'm going to have uh, the YouTube logo tattoo on me, so uh, get subscribing. It's going to be a bumpy ride. What's that off? Harry Potter. It is Harry Potter. Well done. One gold star for you. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Bye. -bye then. Bye.